a slight tongue twister for you. Let's see if I can get it out right. This is a spice butter baked cauliflower. cauliflower. <laughs> so it's only got seven ingredients, but it is tasty. If you've got a whole cauliflower, almost everything else should be available in your pantry. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually melt our butter. Okay. And to save um, cleaning up, I'm just gonna do it all in the one pan. So I'm gonna melt it in the oven yep. with the cumin and then we can, uh, hmm. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put the cumin on, straight on top. Yum, I love the smell of cumin. Straight away. Love it. Um, I might actually get you to put a tiny drizzle of olive oil on top of this. Too easy. Um, we don't want the butter to uh, burn too quickly. I do want it to go nutty, which it will do in the oven. Beautiful. So we're just gonna melt this in the oven. Um, it'll take just a couple minutes, then we'll bring it back, show you what it looks like, so that we can put the cauliflower in. Oh yeah, so. <laughs> smells really good. <laughs> That's the cumin hitting the heat and the butter melting. So you can see some separation with the, the butter solids and the liquids in there. I'm really excited because the next step is to baste our cauliflower in that. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna get Khan to make our dressing. So what we are doing, it's a really simple dressing of tahini, lemon juice, olive oil, and potentially some seasoning. We'll see how we go. With the rest of the ingredients, I'm actually gonna double up. So we've got tahini, which is sesame seed based, and then I'm gonna put some toasted to yep. um, sesame seeds on the top. We've got our sumac, which is a very citrusy kind of. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit lemony, yeah. Yeah, and you were just telling me it reminds you of? Um, salted plums. Excellent, yeah. so it really has that sort of salty, citrusy, fruity kind of thing going for it. I'm gonna use this whole cauliflower. Anything up to about 1.5 kilos will work really well for this recipe. If it's any bigger, as we know they can get in season, like bigger than our heads, yeah. you definitely have to increase the quantities of your other ingredients. So I'm just gonna baste this while you're making that delicious dressing. dressing. So And then just salt if I need. Salt if you need. Yeah. So depending on what kind of tahini you get, mm. they can already be sort of a little bit salty. So I've left some of the green on the bottom of this, but if you get a cauliflower that has got all of the greens, mm. that can actually become a bit of a, a so, salad yeah. topping to yeah. this. So don't be afraid of those. You can eat them raw or just really lightly dressed in a vinaigrette. I find with the leaves of the cauliflower, if I roast them as well, they get oh. like chips and yes. they're so yummy, the yes. crunch. But it's just one of those things that we get into the habit of, of not seeing it with the leaves. Mm. So you think that you can't eat them, but actually you can, and they're quite versatile. All right, and all the tahini? All of that tahini. So it's um, it really is the base of our dressing. Yep. In terms of the nuttiness that it provides against what we're gonna have maybe three different textures in this cauliflower because you're <laughs> gonna have that crust on the outside. Yep. And it goes so sweet, juicy, so soft and in the, tender yeah. in the middle. And I hear you've got a bit of a tip for me. If you didn't want to take the time to slow roast this, what do you do first? Well, what I do is I put it into a heat proof bowl. So yes. not metal, something that yep. can go in the microwave. Yeah. And then you put a tiny bit of water, just like a tablespoon in. Yeah. Cover it with some clim film. Yeah. And then pop it into the microwave for about 10 minutes, depending on the size. But like for 1.1 kilos, 10 minutes will probably do it. Excellent. So yeah. we're really doing this the slow way. Mm. But if you don't have the patience of waiting for it and smelling it that whole time. <laughs> it's so good though. Chuck in that little cheat, microwave it first, steam it from the inside out, and then you can just get the, the crust on the outside. We're gonna yes. cover this, we're gonna cook it covered for a little while to create that steaming effect. The steaming effect, yeah. And then we will come back, release it, so that we can get a nice crusty top. So I'm gonna pop this back in the oven. Awesome, for how long? Oh, 90 minutes at 170. Awesome. So our cauliflower has had 90 minutes at 170 degrees. We've basted it with that beautiful nutty cumin rich butter and then I've just pumped up the temperature at the end. So I've taken off the alfoil. Yep, yep. Pumped up the temperature so that it can get <laughs> brown and crispy on the top there. And you can see all of the little florets create yum. these crevices where all of that tasty butter oh God, goes down. So yum. I'm glad butter makes you smile <laughs> as well. <laughs> So if you wouldn't mind pulling a, a generous portion of that tahini, Just lemony, medium. olive oily dressing on there. Yum. Be generous. Be generous. <laughs> uh, it's, all, it's all going in, it's all going in. 
We can't take it back. <laughs> I, I think I think the diners will take care of it for us. Ooh. Gorgeous. So I'm just going to do a little light sprinkling of these toasted sesame seeds because I want some of those to be visible on the bottom, but most of them are going to go on the top. And the same as this sumac, this beautiful citrusy Middle Eastern spice. Gorgeous. Nice colour as well. Mm. And then we have to get this <laughs> that guy big out. beastie yeah. out of here. <laughs> You know it's good when you need two implements. Yep, yep. All right. Oh. So I know it's quite, quite a brown, <laughs> brown heavy dish. It's one of those ugly, delicious kinds of I mean, dishes. More butter. More butter. So I would actually probably serve this as a side. Mm -hmm. So because it is really monotone, I would serve it with a big plate of greens. Yep, definitely. Probably a big plate of like coriander, carrots. Look, I would or even just pomegranate. Eat this. You. you you can do that too. <laughs> so again, just a, a sprinkling of this sumac and just another, ooh! Lucky we wanted that many. Just, just that right amount. Okay, so there is our spiced butter roasted cauliflower. Enjoy.